Good day everyone, I am Marky Amistoso Jr. taking the Bachelor of Special Need Education. I hope you are all doing well and today's video is gonna be about the importance of different instructional materials that we can use in teaching for us to accommodate those students with special needs. So this time, let's get right into the video. The first instructional materials that I create is the tactile books. This book is not just for visually impaired because it can also be very helpful for those students who are deaf with learning disability and other significant disability. Since this book is consists of tactile number and shape, it can be very helpful to any kind of disabilities that a student may have. This is the tactile books that I created. At the cover page of the book, as you can see, I put the counting books, which is the name of the book. And at the same time, I put also the four mathematical operations, which are addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. And this book consists of 10 pages with its number and corresponding shapes. At the number one, as we can see, there is a one star. And at the number 2, as we can see, there has 2 triangle. And at the number 3, as we can see, there has 3 rhombus. And at the number 4, as we can see, there has 4 oblongs. And at the number 5, as we can see, there has 5 trapezoid. And at the number 6, as we can see, there has 6 triangle. And at the number 7, as we can see, there has 7 diamond. And at the, at the number 8, as we can see, there has... 8 hurt and at the number 9 as we can see there has 9 square and at the number 10 as we can see there has 10 circles the counting books are a wonderful way to practice counting with the students commercially available counting books can be adapted or homemade books can be created these tactile counting books with numbers open the doors for understanding how others who are visually impaired learn about the world of learning calculations. It offers tactile number explorations with the numbers 1 to 10. What is the purpose of the counting books and how it is important? As we all know that every person with outside appear to solve math problems using visual cortex of their brain. That really suggests yes, blind individuals appear to be doing math with their visual cortex. The reason why? Tactile books are a great way to foster the development of the literacy skills with any child who is visually impaired, including children with other significant disabilities. At the school, tactile books are a must for supporting literacy instructions for use in developing concepts and honing sensory efficient skills. And the most important is how we can use these tactile counting books in teaching. When teaching young children with visual impairments, the use of tactile objects like black, beads, and abacus or checkers to teach math skills are necessary. The poem numbers war will work well also, since the child can feel the shape of the number. So this time, I made counting books using cardboard to create numbers and shapes that I will be used in teaching to students who are visually impaired. In this way, once they recognize the value and shape of the number, they can easily learn about addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Example of scenario in teaching students who are visually impaired. John, I had prepared a counting book for you. In the cover page of the book, you can sensate the words that I cut out, which is counting books. So whenever you want to learn and practice math calculations, it will be very easy for you to recognize that it is counting books once you felt the words using your hands. This book consists of 10 pages, and each page of the book, there are glued numbers with its corresponding shape based on the value of the number. Can you follow? Alright, very good. Then, have this book and try to practice memorizing and recognizing every number. The first page of the book is number 1, and below the number, there is a 1 star and have you filled the number and the star as well as its shapes and form? The second page of the book is number 2. And below the number, there are two triangle. Have you filled again the number and the triangle as well as its shapes and form? And the last page is number 10. And below the number, 
there are 10 circle. Have you filled the number and circle as well as its shapes and form? And now that you had learned a lot, I know that you can do more. So let's try about how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. The reason why you have to listen very carefully because I'll be mentioning each of the number. The first is addition, 3 plus 5. Now you have to go back to the number 5 and 3, then add it. Very good. The answer is 8. The second is subtraction, 8 minus 3. You have to go back to the number 8, then lessen the 3. Okay, very good. The answer is 5. The next is division, 10 divided by 2. You have to go back to the number 10, then count how many 2 there are in 10. Okay, very good. The answer is 5. And the last is multiplication. You have to go back to the number 3, then count it 3 times. Okay, very good. The answer is 9. The most important in these tactile counting books is if they already mastered the number 1 to 10, it will be very easy for them to learn about the higher number. More than that, this will be a way for a student to be more knowledgeable enough they can be in terms of calculations. And now, the question is, how can we use to teach students who are visually impaired about the solar system? So, as a teacher, we have to provide a tactile solar system so that the student with visual impairment or any kind of disabilities can come up in the lesson. In this tactile solar system, I cut out the sun and the eight planets which are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune based on their placement. At the back of this tactile solar system, I provide the information about the eight planets so students can read it if ever they want. The knowledge about the solar system is more important than ever because it helps us to appreciate the Earth. The purpose of the tactile solar system is that the student with disabilities can learn the same as regular students, so no one will be left behind. As a learner with visual impairment relies on verbal instruction and information. So through giving them the tactile instructional materials, it will be very easy for them to learn. For example, is that tactile solar system. Once they touch the planet, all I need is to provide information through verbal instruction in order for them to recognize it. If you are going to teach students who are visually impaired, we have to remember that they learn more with the use of tactile objects. Example of scenario in teaching about the solar system to those students with disabilities, such as visual impaired. I'll give you the instructional materials which is tactile solar system and try to recognize the composition and placement of every planet. A solar system refers to a star and all the objects that travel in orbit around it. And our solar system consists of sun, star, eight planets, and their natural satellites such as moon, dwarf, planets, asteroids, and comets. Our solar system is located in an outward spiral of the Milky Way galaxy. The first planet that you are touching is the Mercury, which is the closest planet to the sun and due to its proximity, it is not easily seen except during twilight. For every two orbits of the sun, Mercury completes three rotations about its axis and up until 1965, it was thought that the same side of Mercury constantly faced the Sun. The eighth planet that you are touching is the Neptune, which is the eighth planet from the Sun and is the most distant planet from the Sun. This gas giant planet may have formed much closer to the sun and early solar system history before migrating to its present position. I am very thankful that you were able to finish watching the video. Most of all, I hope that you've learned a lot.